There's controversy on Gabriola Island tonight over the replacement of a decaying fire hall. Everyone supports the fire service, but with a shrinking population and a dramatic drop in tourism, fewer people are being asked to pay a lot more. As Sky Ryan reports, an upcoming referendum is dividing the community. Gabriola Island's number one fire hall is falling apart at the seams. In that, there is no debate. Right from the beams in the roof. You can see the beams are falling apart, so we put big bolts in there to hold them together. You know, there's an example. To the cracking floor. If you walk down here, you can actually feel the floor kind of going a little weird. It's cracking at the end. because. But the cost to replace the 40-year-old fire hall, yeah. now that yeah. is a topic of hot conversation. The whole world is uh, practicing restraint on spending. Here we are going out spending money unnecessarily, in my view, on something we don't need. Residents are taking it personally because the fire board is asking them to borrow $2.3 million in a referendum on March 24th to build the new $3.5 million fire hall. This in economic times. Everybody's feeling it, yeah. That are tough to say the least. The biggest symbol, singling impact for us, and particularly restaurants, is about 40,000 less travelers on the Gabriola Ferry in three years. And where that makes a big difference is that it's the people who come for the weekends and fun. So many residents feel the price tag on the new fire hall is too high. Suggestions have even been thrown around that tents set up on this land could do the job. Uh, that was one uh, temporary solution, but I mean at $80,000 it wasn't even considered, it was a statement. But the topic is dividing the island in two camps. The other side wants to make sure it's being well spent and we're getting the best for the dollar. Not helping the firefighters cause is that just blocks away, volunteer labor is building the island's new medical clinic. I don't know if it's something that would be easy to repeat. It's uh, turned out quite remarkably. And how the fire hall referendum will end is too close to call right now. But Frank Rogers hopes the volunteer firefighters get everything they're asking for after what the department has done for him. I was in a car accident uh, 25 years ago and uh, they came and rescued me and uh, they do a very good job. The results of the referendum will be revealed on March 24th.